So our 250 years anniversary, we're doing lots of different celebrations. Um, we kick off with the 1st of February, where we are showing the um, 13 embroidered bags at the V&A. And then we will go off to Australia, where we will do a conference in Sydney, along with going to Chicago and London to also do the same sort of setup where we'll do conferences there. So we've got internationally renowned embroidery academics coming to speak for us and uh, people from other parts of uh, the fashion or military world that uh, can come together and talk about embroidery um, in all three locations. But then we will also have a two-day exhibition which will be in London at the Bishopsgate Institute which is a great place for us to be. Um, and then we finish at the end of next year with the auction of the bags. So that's kind of a year of, of celebrations for us. The Embellished Handbag project started as an idea where we thought we would get in contact with lots of accessory brands um, to produce one-off uh, embroidered bags. Um, as we all do, we make our ideas bigger and bigger and we've ended up with 13 embroidered handbags, uh, one-off individually embroidered, uh, which we will then auction off for Quest, the charity, at the end of this year. Working with Hand and Lock and, and the auction that um, they're putting together with these handbags is is a great way of raising funds because you know it's not only showcasing the talents and the skills and the workmanship that they are supporting through the funds that they're raising, um, but it also is raising much needed funds for a really kind of uh, under supported area of, of the fashion industry. I think you know it's kind of the, there's a lot of artisan and sort of couturier skills that are being lost from from British manufacturing and you know they're not necessarily taken care of as well as they could be and so I think the work that they're doing is immensely important to the British fashion industry.